Our legal guys are back, and so is another familiar face, Casey Anthony. Avery Friedman, by the way, is in Cleveland. Richard Herman's in Las Vegas. So let's talk about this. An appeal for Casey Anthony. You'll remember that in her 2011 trial, she was cleared of murder and other charges related to the death of her daughter, Kaylee. But she was convicted of four misdemeanor counts of lying to police during the investigation. Now her lawyers are trying to get those convictions thrown out. A Florida appeals court case heard, uh, or heard the case rather, this week. Avery and Richard, the basis uh, apparently of Anthony's appeal is that uh, it's, it's, it's a question of whether or not she was under arrest or even in police custody when she made statements that led to her being convicted of lying to the officers. And this seems like such a basic police procedural thing. So explain what happened and, and how is it grounds for an appeal? Richard? It's a great, there's a great legal argument here, Marty. I'll tell you, they're really great. They're claiming that when she was uh, detained, handcuffed in the police vehicle, she was questioned without giving her Miranda rights. The trial judge believed that and ruled those statements inadmissible. Now the police got their conviction based on those statements. And the issue here really is whether it's an admissibility evidentiary issue or can the police rely on statements made any time to do investigations? I don't know how it's coming down. She needs two out of the three judges to rule in her favor. I think two of them will not right. rule in her favor. But very interesting arguments, really good legal arguments.